Welcome to My Thoughts with Dale Vandebogart, a biblical view of today's world issues. And now, here's Dale. Hello everyone, welcome to another segment of My Thoughts. And in this segment, it, it'll be, it is called, uh, He is the God of Peace. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the Judge Gideon, which you can read about in Judges, starting in chapter 6, verse 11, go all the way to the end of chapter 8. Now, uh, our key word in today's segment is peace. And this word is used many times in both the Old and New Testament. Peace translated in Hebrew means, means shalom or shalem. And depending upon the use of the word, it can mean peace offering, perfect peace, peaceful, or undisturbed. In most of the, of the Apostle Paul's writings, he uses the phrase, the God of peace be with you. Since he was Jewish, he was actually saying, uh, Jehovah Shalom be with you. And so we know that Jehovah Shalom means uh, the God of peace. And it was first used in, Ju in Judges 6, verse 24. So Gideon was the first one to use that. Now again, I told you, Gideon was one of the great judges of Israel. And he accomplished many things. But his four greatest accomplishments, which again, I invite you to read them. Open up your Bible if you'd like. You can do it now or do it later on. But you can read the entire part of Gideon in Judges starting uh, in chapter 6, verse 11, go all the way to the end of chapter 8. So what Gideon did was he, he destroyed the altar of Baal, of Baal, which was a false god worshipped by the Mennonites and the Amalekites. It, making an agreement to God to save Israel from the Mennonites. Now, Mennonites were they were they they were arch enemies of Israel back then. He gathered three hundred men and subdued the the, the Mennonites. But uh, um, the the Mennonites had thousands of men, and there was peace in Israel for forty years thanks to Gideon. So. So Gideon's story starts out, he's the new judge. And he starts out with the Midianite, with the Midianites, they're just terrorizing them day and night. Descending upon them like a swarm of locusts and destroying their crops and pillaging their livestock. Fearful and of their cruel enemies, the Israelites hid in dens and caves in the mountains. So no, so you figure no wonder Gideon was pretty much petrified, and he hid at the bottom of an abandoned wine press. And to survive, he threshed through uh, measly stalks of dry grain. Somehow he could manage uh, uh, to uh, scavenge. So bound by fear and overcome by all the news of terror that surrounded him. Well, Gideon had a guardian angel. So in Judges chapter 6, verse 12, in the midst of his fear, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, the Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. So now when you find the expression, the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament, usually refers to our Lord Jesus in his pre-incarnate state. Jesus himself appeared to Gideon when he was in the pit of fear and called him a mighty man of valor. Now, isn't that amazing? Now, there, now, are there moments that you feel overwhelmed by fear? When you hear reports of terror or exposure to some virus, do you feel fearful and, and anxious? Has fear driven you into hiding? Well, the truth is, regardless of how you feel, and it just doesn't matter how you feel, okay, when our Lord Jesus looks at you right now, what he sees, he doesn't see fear. He doesn't see an anxious person. No, what he sees is a mighty person of courage. Now, isn't, that, uh, how, how, isn't it amazing how our Lord looks at us? Is it not how... Uh, uh, is it not how we see ourselves that actually defines us? Is it how our Lord Jesus sees us that, that also defines us? That's how what it is. This is why when we read his word, okay, we read it and 
and study it to discover what his word says about us. No matter what state uh, we're in right now, and we're talking the state of either fear, anxiety, because he never did that. He never built us with, with, with anxiety and fear in mind at all. See, but in right now, how, how and, and how messed, and, and, you know, no matter what state we're in right now, or how messed up or how jacked up our lives are, okay, or might be, the Lord Jesus always sees the best in us. I'm sure today you want the Lord, you would love the Lord to manifest himself as the God of peace when you're fearful. You can look to Jesus to him to alleviate and relieve his fears. Cast your fears on cast your fears on him because he cares for you. And that's what the scripture says. And that's truth. He what Jesus doesn't see the fear and the anxiety. No, he sees your potential, your gifting, your call, your destiny to do great things in in your life. And he is paid that way. And as the ending of Gideon's, uh, of Gideon's story shows, see, he will guide you and cause you to be a testimony of his protection as you trust in him and see yourself and your situations through his eyes. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? See, he will guide you. And things that you're going through right now, when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or if you've already accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you look upon Jesus and you say, I will not be fearful. I will not be anxious. I am strong. I am powerful. I'm an overcomer. I am victorious because I have Jesus. And Jesus was overcoming. He overcame the world. He is victorious. He paved the way for victory for all of us. And we can have victory, not in heaven, right now, today, on this earth. We can and will be victorious through the, through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm Dale Vandebogart, and I approve this message. And if you're reading this message for the first time, or you're seeing this video for the first time, and you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, what are you waiting for? You don't have to wait to go to church. You don't have to wait to go to a worship service. You don't have to wait to be invited to a, to a worship service. You can accept Jesus right now in your home, in your car, in a parking lot, in a school bus, in a city bus. It doesn't matter. You can accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior right now. And all you need to do, you go to our website right now, vdbm.org. Click on free gift. Read the read those paragraphs. At the bottom, we have a we have a bold paragraph sitting right there. And all you have to do is repeat that prayer from your heart. And you will accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And you will have eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I always encourage each and every one of you, not just to read your Bible, study your Bible. Why? It's good food. It's food for the soul. You'll never thirst. You'll never hunger again. I have it in 30 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow, thank you for watching this video. You can always go to our website, vdbm.org. We have lots of things there. If you, the other screens that will be showing up here in just a few seconds, if you want to donate to our ministry, we'd love for you to donate to our ministry. The website is right there. If you need prayer for anything, we highly encourage you, please, email us at that email address so we can pray for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Be blessed.